Welcome to my first ever video of Global Cynic. The one, the only Global Cynic. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram. I tried logging on to Snapchat, wasn't able to do that. It's a little bit crazy. And uh, I thought, you know what? Why don't I just give you a little bit of tour of my studios. And let you know a little bit more about why I created Global Cynic. The first thing is, before I show you around, is it is so easy today to be a cynic. You don't need any education whatsoever. Anybody could be a cynic. So if you want to be a Global Cynic, just subscribe to this channel. It's so easy. I will do my best to be cynical on a daily basis. I may not always upload a YouTube video, but I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, for sure. And uh, yeah, let's just have a look around. So on this channel, I'll probably be talking about things political, you know, what's going on in the entertainment world, what's going on with COVID, the whole pandemic thing, uh, NASA, politicians, everyone's fair game when you're a global cynic. So here is, this is my little studio here. Oh, there's my, my books. Knowledge, knowledge. That's what I'm most proud about. These two bookshelves that I have right now. But you know what I'm more proud of than reading all these books? Maybe half of them, three quarters. There's some books I haven't read yet. Uh, like this one here, the four hour book. I just got this one by Tim Ferriss, so I gotta read that one. Anyways, you know what I'm more proud of? I'm more proud of this here. See this little microphone? This is for my podcasts. So I'm on Anchor, and the reason why I'm using Anchor is once you create a podcast, you can upload it. It'll automatically upload you to Spotify, I think on uh, Apple iTunes, all this kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool, and it's free. It's absolutely free so I love this microphone look at this check this thing out doesn't it make you look like a radio broadcaster so yeah so I'm on YouTube now which is this one I'm on Instagram and Twitter and I think that's pretty much where I'm gonna focus my attention predominantly because uh, there's so many social media apps out there it is ridiculous and I'm starting to get a little bit cynical towards all that as well because it never seems to end. Every single month there seems to be a new app. I'm not even going to go on TikTok. I don't understand TikTok. I don't get it. I have zero interest in it. And uh, yeah, so don't expect to see me on TikTok at all. Mostly on the three channels that I talked about. So yeah, so... Uh, everybody's fair game and uh i'm a bit of a cynic i will admit that i'm a little bit of a cynic by nature i don't believe that people have the best interest i i i the majority of the time i think people have an agenda they have something that they want from you that they're trying to take but they're just not letting you know what it is so my job is to try and uncover that and we'll just see where this thing goes that's it so there's a quick little tour oh this is my little miniature movie theater i got two rows of love seats and seat five people which is amazing and i have my tv set and there's all my dvds down there very proud of those watched many a movie and um, the world's changed. I remember using VHS tapes, which I think, I still think VHS is the best way to go. Because if my coach back in the day had a broken leg, I could just stick three or four VHS tapes underneath. Boom. All of a sudden your coach is level. Today, what am I going to do? stream it on netflix like i'm gonna be watching stuff like this all the time so it's yeah vhs is the way to go i love vhs 
I know it was only like 1.5 megabytes per second, but it was fantastic. Loved it. Then they went to DVD, and then they went to HD DVD, and then Blu-ray DVD, and then they tried pushing 3D on everyone. And I'm like, really, just stop. Stop it. Stop pushing all these other platforms. Now we got 2K. Now we got 4K, and then we're going to get 10K, and then we're going to get 20K. It's like, stop it. It's ridiculous. Stop updating and changing the TV formats. Just, we're done. You hit the ceiling. It's not going to look any better. If anything, it's just going to look more like realistic TV. That's why they call it the soap opera effect. Because when you're watching TV on the best resolution ever it looks like a video so it feels like we're going backwards you don't want to be watching a movie and going man that looks real and all of a sudden now you're not focusing on what's supposed to be happening in the movie so yeah i can get off on a little bit of a tear thanks for watching subscribe to this channel you can be a global cynic as well and uh don't forget to comment on any of my videos that I upload. It's a brand new channel, so I really appreciate you subscribing, and I'll see you later.